if I say Trevor, you guys say hi. Ready, Trevor? Hi. Trevor? Hi. <laughs> so cute, you guys. I was a Christian back in this day. I really was. Like, I just didn't read the Bible because I thought it was boring. It was for old people, or crusty people. Like, and I didn't want to read that. Like, but I prayed. I did. I prayed. I would defend my faith if people made fun of me. But, like, I, didn't, I had this outgoingness to me, and I didn't give it to the Lord. I kind of used it to kind of get in with people. So, like, I went to school. Like, like everybody else. I would dress like them. I'd walk up to them, and I'd go use this outgoingness. I'd be like, hey, guys, what's up? What's going on? They, like, push me away. And they used to circle around me and push me like, like a one-man mosh pit. <laughs> And I was in high school, I started dressing the way I wanted. I grew up my hair look, now I got this like yabba dabba do. Like, I used to, I used to be like that. I dress up like a, look at my pants, you think I care? Look how tight these puppies are. Like, I was, I was, uh, if somebody makes fun of me for wearing these, man, I'll stitch them even tighter and just be like, fuck. Okay? Like, people make fun of me for the way I am. I can't help it. Like, God loves me and I don't have to press them, dude. God took over my, my body. I don't have to impress them. It's pretty sweet. Good people. Good people. I don't have to impress man. I worship God. So you know, that's right. I go crazy at school. This, like, there are, there are people. If there was like a group right over there, there was like a vending machine, just to get their attention, I would be like, yeah! And I'd put it into it. You know, like, they'd look at me and I was on the floor and I'd be like, Jesus loves you. <laughs> What else did I do? There was kids that would cuss. They think they're so cool. Like, yeah, bleep, 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 bleep. I walk up to them. I'd be like, man, Jesus loves you. He doesn't like swear. Don't cuss. They'd be like, they think they're really cool, and they'd scream at me like, man, shut up, bleep, bleep, bleep. Like, like you're cool, okay? It didn't bother me, so I went up to them. I was like, man, shut up. Jesus loves you. <laughs> that got embarrassed, not me, because I'm not ashamed of the gospel of Christ, <laughs> right? No, 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 like, that's what happened. God took me from what I like to call a thumb wrestle Christian in middle school to like this, sumo wrestle Christian. <laughs> you know, minus the diaper, yeah. <laughs> he took me and he looked like crazy, man. And that's the thing, um, that's the thing. Towards the end, like, I was a crazy happy person. Like, I was happy having, like, Richard Simmons and an Oprah interview, you know? <laughs> We don't need to impress man. We don't. I, like, I could care less what any people, anybody in this room thinks of me. Like, God loves me. I haven't showered in four days. Like, <laughs> I don't care what people think of me. There's a machine over here. There's a group of kids standing by it. Just to get their attention, I'm like, yeah! Some of you guys laugh, the rest of you look at me at like a Amish guy at Circuit City. I'm not buying any of this. Are you forgetting that? This lady was hideous. She's like, ah, I'm the bad guy, Power Ranger. No. She was like the crazy lady. And the Power Rangers, man, they, they don't even care. She's like, I'm going to kill these people. She's just looking at her ball, waiting for the best time. And all of a sudden, she's like, um, all right, like, let's, do you remember those little putty guys? Little, no, no, no. That's all they did. They couldn't even fight. They think we're gonna fight. You remember the fight scenes? They were good at cartwheels. <laughs> they were great at cartwheels. My torque just went through my shoe during that cartwheel. I don't What did they do? Whoa! Oh, you did way. I mean, yeah, what? It's morphin time! The one they're like, yeah! I don't even know. I don't remember what they do, but they get in those tight suits. The funny thing about the tight suits is they didn't give them any towers. Like, Maybe one got a sore or something, I don't even know. But they're just in tight suits. They don't have anything else, they're just fighting in tight suits and they get better. <laughs> I never got that. And what happened? There was this, there was this, there was this like, um, what, a pterodactyl? The pterodactyl came out of nowhere, out of like a volcano. It's like, yeah! <laughs> 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 like some other country. It's like flying all the way over, yeah! <laughs> and like, one of them, on the way there, they sort of transform like, yeah! <laughs> 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 this is all that transformed into something that got 
心就在这儿，啊啊啊！一下就。The thing I never got, the like the big monster guy that blew up. The whole time, what's he doing? They take a two-minute scene out of the show to show these transforming things transform. What's the big monster guy doing? Does he stop tipping over the buildings, destroying the city, and beating up the power engineers? He's standing on the side like, oh, that's that's a nice little trick. <laughs> you see that? You see that guy's tail turned into a sword. His biceps just turned into his his arm. <laughs> so what's the last thing they do, man? Like. I don't think they morph anymore, but yeah, they go together as one big old thingy majigger. Like all these transformers are in one big like guy. They have this big old sword, and like, what's the final thing they do? There's that guy skipping over cities and stuff. Cities and stuff. And all of a sudden, out of nowhere, like the big transformer guy, what's he do? Takes a big sword and he's just like, and he slices him in half. And with his sword, he's like, and sparks start shooting out guy's body. I don't know where they go. And sparks fly off and hit people in the city and burn them. And stuff. like, ah! And he falls on the building and stuff like that, and they defeat the bad guy, the naughty, naughty guy. <laughs> bad guy, they defeat him. I'm just gonna let's let's pray. I mean, I don't care. I could care less whether you became a Christian today or you've been a Christian for 80 years. I could care less. The most basic stuff about Christianity should apply to us no matter what. God's scripture is never going to grow old. I mean, we can say John three sixteen all we want, and we're going to read right over it. We need to stop. We need to think about God. I don't know how many times I walk around this place just saying God, not even thinking on Him. I don't know how many times. I mean, we need to stop. We can be we can be masters in theology, but failures at life. I encourage you not to laugh at this, but it's morphing time. <laughs> I'm serious. It's the best I got. It's morphing time. Get this. It's time for us to unite as one body. It's time for us to build together. It's time for us to grow as one unit and slice the enemy with our double-edged sword. It's time. And I'm gonna blatantly say it. Sorry if you hate me. There's more gossip here sometimes than there's fellowship. There's more movie watching. There's more video game playing than there is time with the Lord, time in the Word with God. It's like we climb up a ladder. And it's like He's hanging right there. It's like we climb up a ladder and we just go. It's like we spit right on His face, man. Like. He's up there dying for us. He didn't die halfway. He died the whole way. He did it 100%. He wants all of us. He wants our whole entire being, every little nook and cranny, or else Satan's going to get in. Whether you eat or drink or whatever you do, do it all to the glory of God. And here's what I hear about. I'm sick of hearing this. I'm sick of it. Listen to me. Oh, I've done too much. God won't forgive me. I've done too much. I'm already too far. Listen to me. My God, the God that I serve, God Almighty, will forgive you for anything. He doesn't care how much you've drunk. He doesn't care how much you've beaten your wife or your kids. He doesn't even care if you murdered somebody. If you ask for forgiveness, God's there. My God that loves me will take you in his arms. I mean, if you need to get up there at the altar this morning, I'm not holding you back. Let's take advantage. We got him here. I'm not holding you back. If you need to get up here, I'm going to say, man, get up here. Dude, get up here. Don't let Satan, don't let Satan rule. Don't let Satan rule your life. It's, it's finished, man. If you stop Satan's face on the ground and you say, dude, it's time. It's time to make business. It's time to deal with the Lord right here at this altar. I mean, if, if you feel a need to put your head down and close your eyes right where you're at, do that. But don't hold back. If you need to come down here, do it. If you need to get down right where you're at, Neil, do it. If you need to stand and praise the Lord with your hands raised, do it. Just don't hold back. Don't let Satan rule your life. Don't be ruled by the church. Don't care what anybody thinks of you. I had to get on my knees at that platform. I can't care what anybody wants to move out of me. Man, I'm not. Lord for other people. I'm living for me. 
It's Philippians 1, verse 20 and 21. It says this. I eagerly expect and hope that I will in no way be ashamed, but I will have sufficient courage so that now, as always, Christ will be exalted in my body, whether by life or by death. For, for to me, to live is Christ and to die is gain. Start whenever you want. I want you to stand up right where you're at. Look at everybody in this room and say, I love Jesus Christ. And I'm willing to live for him. That's what I want to happen. You start whenever you want. If you think, I mean, I'm serious, guys. I'm serious. That's what it takes. I love Jesus Christ and I'm willing to live for him. That's my boy. I love Jesus Christ. I love Jesus Christ. Come on, get up. Jesus! Who do we love? 